What up players, Wobot's tail up in this mud. We are going to be starting part three of our corpse cart painting tutorial. So today we're gonna be doing um, the rats, the ropes, the, um, the, the all this bric-a-brac that's hanging off the, the back of Lewis's ride. And um, the gold for the bell, or the dark bronze, and then hopefully, cross your fingers, we'll get to the awesome washes. So we're gonna start with the rats, and um, we're gonna be using two colors for the rats. I know for my Skaven Scream, not Screaming Bell, my Doom Wheel tutorial, I painted three different colors of rats, light rats, dark rats, and um, medium color rats, I guess. But for this one, because the there's so much brown already on the outside, we're gonna stick to one color for all the rats so that the, the viewer will be able to see them all the time. And the colors we're gonna use are Camry Brown and Talarn Flesh for the tail. So these are the base coats. We're gonna take our Talarn Brown, or no, Camry Brown, sorry, the brown first. And we are going to look for the all the little rats that we can find. Hello there, hello. Oh, look at you. You're just having a little nap. Gross! There's one. Okay. And there's one a little bit further ahead. I don't know if you can see him right between the first two bars. Is I'll paint it up. Where else are there rats? Are there any other rats? I thought I saw one more. On this side. I see a rat body. So there's a body with the tail sticking out, so his, uh, his head is burrowed into. There he is between the second and the third. If you can see that. Let me try to get him in focus in the camera paint at the same time. Ooh, that's impossible. I'm gonna have to paint him and bring him back. Yeah, so I was on the, the Games Workshop website and I was like looking for the Skaven article with the Doom Wheel focus because I wanted to, to double check the um, the the painting formula for, for painting just a regular medium sized rat on the doom wheel and they, they took it off so I don't know if they they did it for a bunch of different armies or just a skaven but like the the all the focus articles where you can learn how to paint a skaven clan rat or the doom wheel see that's not or, or the hell pit abomination all those great articles the step by steps that I followed for my own tutorials uh, to show you people th like they were gone so I don't know if they took it down to, to redo them or whatever, if they took them down for good, but I was like, man, thank God I filmed it. That doom wheel focus. <clears throat> Talar and flesh, next. We're gonna paint their scaly, scaly pink tails. Got a birthday shout out today from a boy, Ryan Rancid Stains. So I want to say happy birthday to him. It's Sunday when I'm filming this. Hopefully it'll be Sunday still when I post it up. So there's the rat tail. I think only this rat, you can see his tail. And uh, <laughs> the tail is placed in such a way that, oh, there's a third rat, that, um, it looks like that rat on the right side looks like it's coming out of a guy's mouth. I just think that's so funny. That is so funny, Games Workshop. Put a silly looking vampire on the cover of your new book. So the parents, when their kids are like, Mommy, Mommy, buy me this. I want to get into Warhammer. I'm like, well, okay. Look, it's got a silly looking vampire on the front. How 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 bad can it be? Then they open it up and they see stuff like this.
like seriously, like all the artwork inside, down to the borders of the pages, all the artwork is so just grim and macabre and gothic and horrible, horror, horror, gothic horror. But <laughs> the the front, this thing is keeps getting in the way of the camera. But the front cover looks like looks like it's for a kids game on you know Turbo Graphics 16. All right. There's Ratatouille in the front. So we're slowly and steadily adding in more colors for differentiation. Um, I've decided also to paint... Let's get a little bit more color for the zombie clothes, uh, especially the guys dragging in the front. Here is my test model for what the zombies are eventually going to look like. Blood stained battered beaten with that spooky green glowing eyeball effect so what I I tried to do and I decided that I like is I tried to paint dark red pants for this guy so I'm uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that the way that you do that is in this next step where you can decide which of the scraps of clothing you want to paint in a dark red color just take dark flesh, the same color that we gave to Lewis's hood, and paint those pieces. So for for me, it's going to be the skeleton's cloth hanging down the front. You can also. What I thought I might do is stick to the Sylvanian theme and have uh, black and purple as well. And that's totally an option. I think for mine though, I'm gonna, I wanna keep as few colors as possible because there's such a barrage of stuff to look at. wraps all the way around. There we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Camry Brown and we are going to paint the ropes now, these are optional. You don't even have to have these in your model, but I decided I would. These ropes in the back, holding all these uh, miscellaneous things. one more rope that's dragging the dead bodies at the bottom. So these are all optional pieces. You don't have to have them. You don't have to build your model with them, like I said. For me, I decided that I would, I wanted as much detail as possible. As much extra little bits. And um, I think it looks pretty cool. Right, there's that. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint, we've got our bell, it's been waiting for 
it's been waiting for some kind of paint, so we're going to get our dwarf bronze right here. And we're going to paint that onto the bell. going on pretty thick so I'm just gonna spread it around. Paint inside. Oh, sorry. Alright. Alright, next detail we're gonna work out is painting a little bit of chaos black into or onto the vials of or these potions, these vials of liquid that are gonna be hanging off the back. We're gonna paint this with some putrescent greens in the next couple of steps, but we gotta, we have to uh, prep for that. Base coating them black first. We got two on one side and one on the left side. Right here in the back. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to what was it? What was it? What was it? Oh yeah, I, I painted the the wooden braces in Calvin Brown as well as the little stripes in Calvin Brown. At the same time, we're also gonna be painting Temry Brown onto any bandages or foot wraps that you may have on your driver zombies in the front. Camry Brown is going to be a great kind of like uh, lighter brown that we're going to be using for all of our all of our like cloths and um, rope stuff like that. It's going to differentiate from the Calvin Brown of the wood which is going to end up a lot darker is going to be what we want. I also painted some bolt gun metal onto the front of this guy's uh, chain mail. This guy over here on the left. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and paint some bleached bone onto the tips of all of the stakes. And I did this with my Arachnorok spider. I found that bleach bone is a really great color for making it look like the wood has been sharpened down to a stake. It's got a nice yellowy color that contrasts really well to the brown of the wood. If you can see that. So the good thing is that we're gonna be doing it to all the all of these wooden rib sections in just a second. It's gonna make it look really awesome. It's a little piece of lint on my axe. So all these stake areas, I'm just going to be painting the tips. Just like 
that. Kind of like to go um, paint from the top in, if that makes any sense. Like going from the top and then painting slashes in like that because that way if you make a mistake then it comes in at a vertical angle and it looks, the randomness of the, the this technique makes it look really interesting to the eye. It's a real quick and dirty technique that um, is really effective. It doesn't have to, doesn't require a lot of, a lot of intricate technique work, brush work I mean. So I like to use it. I used it with my arachnorak spider and um, I was very happy with the result for all of the little stakes on the howdah. A little bit closer there. from the top down the length, just like that. Right, so now we're gonna get started on the awesome washes. And uh, first thing first is we are going to wash with Ogryn flesh. Go out just a little bit so that we can get more of a broad view of everything. I'll start with the the mass of bodies up here and then go to the drivers later. So you just want to cover cover all the skin areas, all the denim stone with this. don't have to go too heavy because once this dries we're actually going to go back and do a second application of the wash so uh, don't don't purposely try to fill in all these gaps the first time because we'll be back you'll notice that one of the one of the pieces on this is actually a skull, like a, a, a bleached bone skull. So try not to get any wash on that if you can, but really if you do, it's, it's okay. This is the wow factor right here on these washes. Watches own this town. You know what I'm talking about. So why are we doing this first before the bad eye black wash that we're gonna use for the wood and the Lewis's robes and all of the other stuff. Well, because it will let you see 
where you want the bad at black wash to go. If we just go straight to black from the stand up stone, then um, you might think that oh, it, there's it's it's such a it's su such a stark contrast from the color to the black that it's really easy to say okay, I'm gonna add more so that there's more shading into the recesses. But really, you don't you don't uh, need to. You don't want to do that just yet because it might not be appropriate. So here's the uh, here's the skull. It's talking about right here at the front. You can see between the second and the third, right there, that guy. So uh, try not to get any ogre and flesh wash on him if possible. Everything else, go to town. That's gonna be one of the things we make sure we hit with our bad uh, black. So one of the only good things about not painting this while it's still in a sub-assembly I'm thinking right now is that I don't have to touch it and be afraid that my hands are gonna ruin the um, the wash because it's stuck on the because it's stuck on the corpse cart still though it'd be much easier if this was all in sub-assemblies And a lot of people sent me some really nice comments, I haven't had a chance to respond to them yet, about the, um, um, you know, putting a model together first and using a, a spray bottle and or, or a, a lighter application of super glue that I can just peel off. So so thanks for everybody who, who wrote stuff in like that. I'm going to try and incorporate as much of your comments as I can. Um, Wow, this is really ugly. In a good way. I mean, like, messed up, nine gates of hell kind of very horror, horrible. Uh, these are all going to be peasant bodies, though. So, uh, Lewis. Lewis is uh, going to be getting a different wash color. The rest of these guys though, they will be as human looking as possible. So I'm twisting my model in a bunch of different directions so that I can see all of the uh, all of the angles. So if, uh, if, if anything goes out of focus at any time, I apologize. I'm trying as best as I can to keep it in in frame while trying to get trying to get the job done. This guy must have been tanning himself on the beach. He's not wearing a shirt. So while we're waiting for that to dry, we are going to apply to Lewis here in the back of his pimp ride. We're going to give him a nice wash of Devlin mud. Where are you, Devlin mud? I'm going to show the camera what you look like. Devlin mud. Which, <laughs> when looking at it from the front on, looks exactly like Bada Black. Just dark and cloudy. Oh, that trickles. All right, there. Simple enough. 
Next, the thing we're gonna do now is we are going to wash the entire thing with Bada Black. This is when we're gonna be using Bada Black really as the, the shade. So we wanna be getting it into the deepest recesses and the darkest shadows and keeping it off of the surface areas as much as possible. What I mean by surface areas, like areas that we're gonna eventually end up uh, highlighting. We really wanna hit the, um, the, the dark shadows and get the grain of the wood and um, stuff like that. So I'm gonna start with the bell here in the back. The unholy lodestone, as it's called. You can see I'm trying to smooth it over the surface as much as possible, so it really gets more into these cracks and crevices and doesn't pool on the flat surface of the bell if possible. Turn. This is when the model is really going to come alive. <laughs> come alive. If you can, try not to hit too much the, uh, the tops of the corpse cart, the ribs, um, the one that we just painted bleached bone. Try not to, um, because we just painted that, we would have to highlight it again even more. But like Lewis's robes, the wood structure, the frame of the corpse cart, all of that, you're gonna have to get inside to the middle. get the, the inner part of these um, wooden rib structures which is fine. I'm actually not going to paint the wheels or shade the wheels yet because I'm using that to, to brace the model to hold it. I'm going to try and get the shades on the beta black on everything else including our guy up here. On the spear. Hey Lewis, good job holding this guy up, man. You've been working out. I've been pumping iron. Yeah. Looking good, man. Thanks, Warbosh. I'm hoping my bulging biceps will, uh, Track me some ladies. That's good, Lewis. Good man. I'm gonna hit the clubs later in my new pimped out ride. I'm gonna pick up some chicks. Me and my wingman, Igor. Igor. Yes, master. Are you gonna be Lewis's wingman? Oh, yes, master. gonna chew with the honeys. It's very disturbing. You are. I've been hanging out with Lewis too much. So you really want to get it um, on, on the ropes, on the wood grain. You want to make sure that you kind of monitor and how much of it gets onto those um, those sections. 
so that you can even out any any of the wash that starts pooling where you would prefer it not to. Yeah, like I can see a little bit of a leg that I missed when I was washing with my ogre and flesh, so I'm gonna get in there and apply some right there, some ogre and flesh to the back of these legs, under this foot, below this hand. Let's go to town. For the underside, under uh, carriage, I guess. Just make sure that the wash into all these little shadows and you know what this not too important this is really more for you completionists out there like myself because this thing is going to be on a base on a chariot base right so no one is really going to see these angles but for me it's just a lot more fulfilling I think it's also good practice so that you don't get in the habit of saying, you know what, I don't need to do that. I think it uh, helps your work ethic. Or maybe I'm just saying that to motivate myself. these twins back here okay so now that the wood structure is done and we've got a little bit more time before my camera runs out of steam again so I'm going to paint bad at black onto all of the cloth areas of my two guys here in the front like these black pants or uh, not blank they're gray yeah and uh, these weapons. We're gonna rest these weapons up later, but for now, we wanna shade anything like these foot wraps and bandages, ropes, pieces of wood, anything that isn't uh, flesh colored on the models. Oh, and my camera is just horrible, getting horrible, horrible angles. Okay, so check it out. Totally gross, totally disgusting. Last thing we want to hit with this is the um, are the rats. So make sure you hit the rats before you put away the black wash. With those little buggers washed with some black. Oh my gosh, did any of you see Willard? Crispin, what's his name? Oh, gross. Best movie about rats I've ever seen, which isn't saying much. I don't see many movies about rats. Okay, camera's about to cut off, so I'm gonna let this dry, and then when we come back in for the last part of part three, we will take a look at beginning some of the highlighting on our disgusting corpse car.